So you want to get started with invest. Well, my friends, in this video, I'm going to show you an app that you can start using to get started in this investing game right after this. What's up? I'm Young Lifestyle. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you want to build your lifestyle and entrepreneurial knowledge, be sure to go and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Now, growing up, parents used to always tell us, invest our money, put it into things, stop wasting it. But how do we invest? So I thought I'd give you guys a rundown on this new app I've been using called Acorns. Now, before we get started, this is not for the seasoned investor that knows what they're doing. This this is more for the people who are getting into investing and they, they want to learn more about it but they don't want to spend too much money. All the links and promo codes will be in the description below so be sure to go check that out. Without further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, this is my present balance, $1,054.54. I've been using this app for quite a while, probably I would say about a year now and the returns on it have been fairly nice i i would i can say that now what i definitely like about this app is it has a nice interface so it's very easy to go through all the options and there's not that much to pick so i really enjoy that so the first thing we have here is roundups now basically what a roundup is is say you buy something that costs 75 cents it kind of rounds that number up to a dollar and it takes the difference between that dollar and the 75 cents which would be the 25 cents and it will typically invest that 25 cents for you now basically this is connected to your bank account and every time you make a transaction it'll actually round it up for you so as you can see these are like the transactions i've done and it typically every five dollars of roundups it'll take that five dollars and invest it for you. I really like this feature because it's a positive way to get started in investing. I know a lot of you guys don't have that much capital. You guys are in college, you're in high school. You don't want to put that much money towards investing, but you are interested. And honestly, investing maybe $5 out of every $150 that you use is not a bad thing because that five dollars is going towards the future and it's going to help you in the future so why not now this found money part is something that is relatively new to the app when i first got it it was not on there but basically what it is is for every amount of like say you buy something from one of these following vendors um say you buy nike nike will take five percent and they'll actually invest it back into you so 5% of that order will basically go towards your investment account, which is actually something that's pretty cool. So you're typically getting positive reinforcement to buy from these places, but they're actually investing back into you. So they're helping you with your future and your investment account, which is great. Now for the most important part of the video is how to make money on this app. So like I said, investing is definitely a long-term game. You're not gonna be getting immediate results. You definitely wanna keep putting money into it. It's very much for the future. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up that they're gonna be making money in four or five days. It, do it just does not work like that. It takes time. You gotta learn what you're doing. You gotta learn more about it. And you definitely got to know what type of investing to do because there's long term and short term but let's get into it now in order to toggle like basically your portfolio you want to go to settings and you want to go to your acorn portfolio now all the portfolios definitely differ so we have all the way from conservative which is you know taking it easy you just chilling to moderately conservative which is you're chilling but you're really you're, you're still you're trying to push put a little bit on it then you got the middle which is moderate so you're like in the middle moderately aggressive which is you know very aggressive you're putting it mostly into like large company stocks and then you have aggressive now in my eyes most of these are going from safest to you know most uncertain now the most uncertain they probably give you the most chance of making the most money but you're putting more risk if that makes more sense the conservative stocks are basically like government stocks so these are things that usually you're guaranteed to get your money back on them now for conservative this is for the person who doesn't want to take a lot of risks 
these things are like your best chance of making guaranteed money it might not be a lot of money but you will make some type of money from them they basically put majority of the money into corporate and government bonds which is basically you're guaranteed to get your money back because these are like things that are just guaranteed government bonds and corporate bonds are usually the most guaranteed you know investments ever you don't make that much money from them but you are guaranteed to make something from them now the aggressive they basically put the majority of this money into large company stocks and small company stocks and they do put it into a little international large company stocks as well these are more you know risky but you do get a bigger chance of making more money quickly doing this way to someone who's really old or they're getting to that age where they just want to see their money you know be sustained you would want to go for something more conservative because this is like just a way that your money won't you know go anywhere it'll, it'll still keep growing but you know you'll you'll get guaranteed returns basically so ultimately i have three to four tips that'll help you make money on this app now the results may vary for every person but they will help you make some type of money so number one is you want to set a minimum for every month uh, amount to invest with now i'm aware that a lot of you are in college you may not have that much money to invest with but if you can find money to buy jordans buy bags and stuff you do have some type of disposable income to put towards this so you should definitely consider doing it. Throughout my first three, four months, I decided to invest about $15 every single month, which isn't a lot of money considering you do spend more than $15 eating out. So if you can just cancel one of your meals for the month and you know take that $15 and invest it towards your future, that'd be cool. Number two is you wanna try to invest aggressively right now. So try to use the moderately aggressive or the aggressive portion of the portfolio for me i've been using the moderately aggressive portfolio and it's been doing wonders for me i mean altogether i've made about 120 dollars within a year span and i haven't invested more than 1k so that's pretty good considering you know i don't invest that much into it number three is to use the cashback portion of the app so when you do buy from these companies such as nike or you know dollar shave club or all the other products that are on the app try to get your percentage back so if you do spend that a hundred dollars on you know a certain item they'll invest five dollars for you i mean it's free money so why not use it remember all the show notes and stuff will be in the description down below so be sure to go and check out acorns it's a really good app I definitely will keep using it. I know this was a relatively short video. I didn't really go in depth with stuff. So if there's anything that you have questions about or things that you don't understand, please just leave a you know comment down below. I'll be sure to help you out with that. If you wanna build your lifestyle and entrepreneurial knowledge, be sure to go and hit that subscribe button for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.